Why do you have a separate computer at the back of your room? Basically, up the front here, we've got the, the main kind of workhorse. This is our main computer, which is running Pro Tools, which is running our console, which is running our sessions, right? This at the back is basically a renderer. It is a dedicated renderer um, that works with Dolby Atmos. It's called the Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite. And what it basically does is audio is sent from Pro Tools, from our main kind of setup, our session comes out, goes via Ethernet down to our renderer. Now on our renderer, this is where the processing and the coding and all this sort of stuff, the magic wizards do their job in the software. Um, what's basically happening is it's summing everything together and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff that comes back sounding amazing through the speakers. And it's all the uh, binaural encoding, decoding, however you want to call it, what it's doing. So basically think of it like this. Uh, this is the best way to explain it. And this is the way that I was explained it when I first looked at all this. And it was a very good way of explaining it. Was think back to when you used to work on a big analog console and then you had a uh, reel-to-reel um, that was over here and everything would record onto the reel-to-reel. -reel. And it was like this physical recording device. That is basically what this is. Everything comes from there, comes over here, and records into dams. Um, I mean, you, you can see behind me it's recording at the moment, and um, I'm not actually recording, I'm just running through it uh, to get audio back to my speakers. Um, so it's really just a case of um, you, you must, well, you don't have to do it this way. I would personally advise it, right? Because I've got quite a few friends in the audio game who have their renderer on their computer um, and they're using uh, the bridge. So they're using a bridge within their computer to speak from Pro Tools or Logic to the renderer. The problem they're having is even on an M1, it is incredibly uh, intensive on CPU, whatever. Um, it is sapping the life out of their sessions. Um, this is why I personally, I, I think it's so much better to come off of your main computer, release all that, that um, CPU usage, release all that, come off to a dedicated renderer that then basically if it's not going to hinder your sessions by running this um, because like things like uh, switching it to binaural monitoring so your playback into your headphones is in binaural even on an M1, uh, a uh, Mac Mini over here it is running at that's running at 45% and that's actually stereo uh that's actually stereo monitoring it goes up to about 70% cpu usage on uh when it's in binaural um so if you were to put that on your main computer and have this internal kind of uh processing going on um it would it would kill your computer and i've got lots of friends who are doing this and they have this internal bridge uh going on inside logic and pro tools and the problem that they're coming to is even on an m1 it is sluggish it's causing real kind of computer meltdowns um so this is how i would recommend doing it if you were to set up a um dolby atmos room basically it's ideal to have a separate computer, so buy another Mac, put another one at the back of the room, or just to the side of the room, just somewhere other than on your computer, on your main um, workstation, um, just to offload all that usage, because it is really, really CPU intensive. So yeah, that's my... Well, that's my recommendation for why to put one of these, uh, the mastering suite, uh, at the back of the room and and that's basically why I have one